What is up guys, Winter Kills here. Welcome back to a brand new post commentary duel video. Yeah, as you might be able to tell, this is gonna be a long one. Uh, as uh, it's a 33 minute duel, this was kind of a grindy match. It was like a really, really good match. Uh, Striker versus Orcus here. And uh, yeah, as always, quick shout out to Imperium Duelist for being our sponsor currently. That's where that beautiful playmat in the center is from. That's their Millennium playmat and all, of, well, the sleeves that I'm using are from uh, Imperium Duelist. Uh, uh, my friend Adam does have a uh, set, hasn't put them on yet, but I think he will in the future and I think he'll enjoy them. But if you want to get some sleeves or mats for yourself, you can use that uh, discount code when it kills 10 off at ImperiumDuelist.com to save 10% on your next purchase. Helps support me and helps you guys save a little money in the process. So without further ado, he actually ended up passing his first turn because he's not open up too well. I get started with the lure, ditching that jackalope. Mothman goes through, discarding a harp horror or a brass bombard. I'm not sure which one. And then uh, Greffer comes down by discarding a Mally. I discard another Mally in hand to send a harp horror, um, which... Uh, you know, I, I opened uh, double Mally, kind of suboptimal, but I still have a Mally uh, use in deck, and I have to burn the monster re reborn here because he did have Ash Blossom for said Harp Horror. And uh, now the Galatea gets to come down, and uh, I get to use that effect. Um, I'm debating on whether or not I want to go for the field spell, but like it's a weird thing with uh, Orcus. I've been sort of changing the ratios of the spell traps. Um, I recently started running the Orchestrated Core, which I think is an absolute must. That card is so insanely good for the deck. I think if you're going to run um, Orchestrated Core, if you're thinking about it, I definitely recommend it. I think you just have to do it. It just, it just saves you in so many different scenarios. Um, and it will take that 3k from that Orchestrion. Um, and I will flip up Iron Saps before I end my turn. I'm not able to get the Field Spell. See, a lot of times I figured out... Um, you know, sometimes you're not always able to get the field spell. Sometimes you're going to want to favor, like, getting the trap to hand, or you want the draw spell to, like, fix a bad hand, which does happen in a, a game later on. Um, he does play multi-roll first. Um, it does not use the effect to send, uh, probably because his hand is suboptimal and doesn't want to send anything currently. Uh, so on the activation of that afterburners, I am able to chain, because he hasn't used multi-roll send effect. He does use it now, or no, end phase is using the effect, but... Um, to set back, but I do get to use that orchestrated cord to protect my Orchestrion, and now I do top deck another Mothman, and I'm able to uh, get that link effect, so he can't be target, he can't be destroyed by battle or card effect. I swing in with 48, because um, the Orchestrion is linked, because linked is basically uh, any card that is uh, being pointed at or um, being pointed at by a link monster or any link monster that points to something is, is uh, counted as linked. Co-linked is obviously when two link monsters point to each other. Um, totally different thing. But uh, he goes ahead and uses that afterburner there to destroy um, that Mothman. And I top deck, what is it, another Mothman. I'm not going to use its effect because I just want to get that, uh, you know, that added body on field. He has a set ash. I swing into it with Orchestrion and then kill him with that final amount of damage I need to do with that 1800 for Mothman as we wrap things up there and go ahead into game two. I take game one. Uh, got pretty lucky he wasn't able to get to engage there and that's pretty much when you want to take advantage of strikers when they can't get into their engage. That's when you really want to go hardcore um, because that's uh, that means they're in a pretty bad spot if they don't have a way to get to engage. They're kind of just kind of stalling for it. Um, that uh, sky, uh, sky Area 0 or Sky Base 0, whatever it's called, activates there, sends the Jammu, the Jamming Waves, get into Ray, and then Ray activates the fact you're going right into Shizuku, and I um, believe he's debating on what to do next here, yep. Does give me that Link Arrow, which is pretty uh, relevant in this matchup that his Kagari and Shizuku do give me arrows, uh, which help... Um, help me link climb a little easier and help give my uh, link monsters their their uh, protection effects a lot easier so I started the turn off with uh, the orchestrated babble um, opening that hard drawing into that card sometimes is really nice because when you use Galatea you can get an extender card uh, you know like your draw spell you can get an extender card like Einsatz um, that's why I, I don't know I might play I don't know like 
I think I might still play the one copy of the field spell and maybe just increase the the ratios of everything else. I think I've added a second iron stats. I've added a second orchestrated return. Um, I might even add a second orchestrated core because that card is just literally too good. It is such a, a life saving card in most matchups. Um, you can see the harp horrors activating here. Summon out the symbol skeleton, of course. Symbol skeleton is the one that banished from grave to special one from grave. Harp horror summons from deck, etc., etc. Galatea hits the board. Attempt to use that effect to shuffle back the harp horror to set an orchest uh, spell or trap from deck. Um, which is, I think, uh, as far as effects go, um, I think Galatea is, has the. Uh, the best effect. Uh, getting some of those really powerful spells or traps to your field instantly. Very, very important. And especially when I can grab a card like Orchestrated Core in a matchup like this, um, even even better because that just helps protect from targeting. Stops Widow Anchor, you know, uh, Jamming Waves, or not Jamming Waves, but, uh, you know, Afterburner. Um, very, very, very helpful card. And then the Symbol Skeleton attempting to activate here. I do target Galatea, and he does respond with a called by. So, Galatia will not be able to get summoned, but I still have Longirsu on the field, who is being dropped, I believe, by 300 from that Shizuku. And then Ray will come out. Um, and uh, Ray will get tagged out in main phase 2 for another Shizuku. And Shizuku will grab Engage in the end phase. And I will pass it back to him during standby phase. I gotta flip up that Gozen match. Now, I do main that Gozen match. In Orcus, I think it's definitely a must. Everything in the extra deck is dark. Everything in the main deck is dark. Um, and you do have that sort of built-in restriction that Orcus has where uh, you do sort of get under that thing. You know, we can only summon dark monsters to turn and use certain effects. It doesn't matter. <laughs> like, you're under that restriction most of the time anyway. So it goes a match. Literally just fits right in. Um, so he does activate Engage and has to search for multi-roll here. I remember in the uh, when we were playing, he said he was kind of uh, not too happy to have to search for that uh, that multi roll, but had to do it anyways because multi roll is such a is such a keystone card in this deck. Uh, it just helps keep you in the game. If this deck did not have multi roll, it probably wouldn't be the greatest. Um, multi roll just literally keeps you in the game turn after turn. Luckily, he has another engage though. Gets a draw, adds the afterburner as well. We get some counters on multi roll, and uh, but still under that goes a match. So that's like. A really big pain in his side at the moment because he cannot get rid of that Shizuku unless he gets rid of that Afterburner. And now he's going to use Afterburner to try to clear Longirsu. Um, and the uh, I will go ahead and respond with Orchestrated Core. Now he does make a bit of a misplay here. Um, it's just a sort of mis mishap of uh, effects being activated. Um, he, th he changed the Widow Anchor to the Long Gear Suit, expecting it to be able to be targeted, but I he just, you know, lapse of judgment, forgot, you know, that it's the, uh, it's the orchestrated core that is preventing it from being targeted. So I do chain in response anyways to, to that Widow Anchor to uh, activate Long Gear Suit's effect, because you can still activate his effect to shuffle uh, the two banished machines back to your deck, and you do not have to use that second part of the effect, which is to send a card that is uh, a linked card um, that it is linked with or whatever so you can just uh, clear cards with Lungir Suit if you need to but I use it just to get those cards back into the deck um, because I wouldn't mind uh, being able to go into those cards later on um, being able to have those cards to search targets I should say off a card like Harp Horror um, Desires does get resolved there so that's all fine and dandy but he still can't clear this uh, goes and match he's probably looking for a card like Twin Twister or a card like Infinite Impermanence that base, uh, sky base goes off, sending another Desires. He did reveal the twin. Obviously can't take it, though. He does have to take a Sky Striker, scar a stri sky striker card. Um, and he did destroy the uh, Hercules base. Um, or no, he did not. Um, he's uh, using multi-roll. My bad. Getting things confused here. Um, yeah, again, this is a long match, so um, got to pace myself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so... Orchestrated Return. I believe I ended up drawing this, um, which is actually pretty nice. This card does help put you pretty far ahead in most cases because you're able just to get rid of a card like Longirsu or any of your Link Monsters. It really doesn't matter too much because a lot of things can just sort of bounce back from the grave with a card like Symbol Skeleton. Allure of Darkness 
going through as well. So I've drawn a total of four cards, five if you count the draw per turn. Uh, and I do banish the Jackalope. And I am playing a Danger Engine, if you couldn't tell already. I am playing three Jackalope and three Mothman. I'm playing the poor version, if you will. Uh, I'd probably play Jackalope, Nessie, and Suchinoko, but like I said, we're, we're poor out here. And um, we're, we're playing the cheaper options. Honestly, they work just as fine. And the Mothman goes through perfectly. I probably shouldn't have placed my Mothman there anyways, but I do get he does discard the Harpoor for me and uh, I do get that draw off Mothman and Harpoor attempts to activate. He has Ash Blossom. I respond with a called by and I go ahead and grab Simple Skeleton. Now much like Sky Striker, Orcus can have a pretty decent grind game as well because a lot of your Link monsters um, can recycle a lot of your main monsters, main deck monsters that do a lot of the work for you. I have a nine sets in hand um, and I want to take advantage of the Galti effect, so I go ahead and set another Iron Sats. Um, this is where if I was playing a second Orchestrator Return or another Core, this is probably where I would set that, but I don't have any other things to set other than a second Iron Sats. So I go for it anyways, because Iron Sats with a Field Spell, if you don't have a lot of resources to work with, is great. Because anytime they summon something, uh, it will allow you to basically foolish any one of your monsters that you need um, from deck, uh, which is really, really important. And uh, Symbol Skeleton gets activated here. That's going to bring back Longirsu. Now, Galati and Longirsu are both linked currently, and I normal summon the Dark Graffer. I don't have any cards to use with him right now, but I'm just sort of normal summoning him to put pressure on. As you can see, he's still at 73 right now, um, and still under Gozen match. I decide to clear the... Um, I decide to clear the, uh, the Shizuku... Um, it doesn't really matter. He still undergoes a match, so whatever he brings out first, it's still gonna sort of like screw him over. Um, in fact, you know, he still can't really go into any Link monsters anyways, because any monster he does bring out first is gonna be dark. That's usually how he links into any Shizuku Kugari or anything anyways. Um, so I did have that Ein Sets activated, so anytime... If he does summon something this turn, I will be able to foolish something. Um, so there's Hornet Drones, and I do have Double Long Gear Sue, and if he does summon something pretty much anywhere to his his open action monster zone or underneath my long gear so i will be able to activate that effect to shuffle two back into the deck and send something um that it is linked with because i do have orchestrated babble on the field which does allow me to use all of my orchest effects uh during his turn they are treated as quick effects so jamming waves goes off and he goes ahead and chains widow anchor to that uh, and he goes ahead and targets my long gear suit, the one in the extra monster zone, um, and I go ahead and respond with orchestrated core, banish I believe Galatea, um, just so I can protect that uh, long gear suit from being tired of the surge, so his effect is not negated by the effect of Widow Anchor, and then he does chain with a twin twister um, to hit both the orchestrated core and a Gozen match, and I wanted to banish that Galatea off that long gear suit so I could recycle it later on. Because recycling your extra deck monsters with this, uh, with your extra deck monsters is pretty important. Uh, it's a cool thing that you can do. Um, so, the fact that he twin twisted the core uh, does not matter because that effect where it cannot be targeted applies even if the card does leave the field. Um, of course, orchestrated core does have a second effect. Uh, won't be able to apply that right now, but because um, nothing was going to be destroyed by battle or card effect, any monster that is, I should say. Um, but so my my my, my long gear so that I have in my extra monster right now currently cannot be targeted uh, by card effects for the rest of the turn. Um, and on that summon of the token, I'm gonna ha have to activate Einsatz here because I need to get some stuff in the graveyard. And uh, I go ahead and foolish that Harpoor, so I do have a card that I can activate uh, during his turn. And he does summon Kagari into that other zone. Which, again, he has to. And, of course, now my long gear suit is linked. So he cannot be destroyed by card effects. Um, that is the effect that long gear suit gets when they, he is linked. Uh, a lot of the uh, Orcus monsters all have different effects. The link monsters, I should say, all have different effects based on when they are linked. You have Galatea can't be destroyed by battle when she's linked. Long gear suit can't be destroyed by card effect when he is linked. And Orchestrion cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect uh, when it is linked. Um, so all very important things to keep in mind. Now, he does have Kagari, and I know I can basically send anything that he tries, tries to summon from the extra deck. Um, and based on, you know, a lot of the resources he's spent at this point, I think he's down, like, 
an engage or two in the banish zone. Uh, he's pretty low on resources as far as Kai Striker is concerned, and he goes for Hayate. And honestly, I feel though as though I should uh, put that send it to the grave uh, right then and there with my Longirsu by shuffling two back. You see, I put back a, long, um, a Galatea as well, and I think a Symbol Skeleton back to the the deck. I should have probably saved it uh, for the Shizuku because I feel like the Shizuku would have had a much more impactful effect if I had gotten rid of that. So he does not get a card back uh, to him uh, in the end phase. Um, regardless, multi-roll is still a thing. I can't clear that right now in any way, shape, or form. Um, so that card is also sort of hurting me. But I think that, that was a major misplay that I made in this game. I think that was definitely one of them. I think I should have saved my Long Gears to effect to shuffle back the or send I should say send the Shizuku to the grave instead of sending that Hayate to the grave and of course his raid does get triggered regardless but I feel like it would have just been better use of long gear soon for sending a Shizuku instead because I do believe he added a eagle booster in the end phase now I do normal summon Harpoor here to start my turn mainly because I just need more link fodder I want more board presence and I have a Harpoor in grave that I used to summon out symbol skeleton um so now I'm starting to assemble a pretty decent field. Of course, I still have Einsat. I still have Orchestrated Babel. Um, so I can use most of my things as quick effects um, when that is on the field. And I know for a fact, I'm pretty sure he has a Widow Anchor set. He definitely has an Engage set in that bottom right zone. Um, and I'm trying to basically go for a Trisbania um, at this point. Because uh, a Trisbania play will definitely... Uh, benefit me greatly um Trisbane is a pretty good card the fact that you can make it in this deck that easy um I mean in general you know uh Orcus I find can link climb very very easy if you use all of your effects correctly you know you have a card like symbol skeleton that can bring back link twos and threes at will um and he is at 5100 life points right now as well uh but he does have a ray engrave so it's gonna be hard to punch for a lot of damage at the moment uh, because, of course, that Ray will be able to come out and absorb some of the damage. And, um, debating, 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 debating on what to do right now. Um, of course, I could use, uh, one of my Long Gear shoes to send his Shizuku to the graveyard. But I don't believe I have two Banished Machines right now. And I also have to keep in mind that the turn Long Gear so uses that effect, he cannot attack. Um, and I think that would only apply, however, only apply to one copy of Lone Gear, so I don't think it would apply to both. Not entirely sure. Either way, we're going to Link Climb into the Orchestrion and then get that Symbol Skeleton engraved to try to revive that Long Gear Suit. Just getting plenty of uh, bodies on field right now, and that's one of the things I love about Orcus, is they can just do that. You just bring back your Link 3, um, no problem using that Symbol Skeleton. And, uh... I just had to link up into that bigger body, and, you know, Harpoor is at 17 normally. Of course, he does have that Shizuku, which is dropping my monsters by uh, quite a bit currently. Widow Anchor does go through, um, but I'm still able to uh, swing over the Shizuku, I think, for 100. I think I think he's at, like, 9 spells in Grave currently. So I'm able to swing over for 100, and that's going to drop him down to 5,000 life points. Ray does hit the board, and uh, I do kill the Ray uh, with the... Uh, the Harp Horror. Of course, I'm no longer under the effect of the Shizuku, so I don't have to worry about uh, any attack decrease. And now I'm sort of deciding how I want to go into Trisbania because I know I want to go into Trisbania. I mean, I've got Iron Sats, I've got Orchestrated Babel. I want to be able to go into this. Um, I want to be able to go into this easy, uh, easy clapper, if you will. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, a Harpoor here to summon out a Symbol Skeleton. And after going into that Galatea, I was gonna use Galatea's effect, but I don't have any other spells or traps in deck to set. Which again, this is where I wish I was playing a second Orchestrated Core, because missing out on that effect to grab a spell or trap does kind of suck right now. Because having that uh, orchestrated core right now probably would help me secure the epic victory, Roy. I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, Trisbania is now on the field. Um, and I'm trying to activate during his, the start of his main phase here the symbol skeleton uh, to target Longirsu. 
or a Galatea, it looks like, um, to go ahead and summon out uh, the Galatea into that zone that Trevania points to. But he does respond with the Twin Twister, which kills the Babel, kills the Iron Sats, but I believe the effect of uh, Symbol Skeleton would go through still. Um, since the way the... Uh, I'm not actually entirely sure if it would go through. Uh, actually, neither of us knew the correct answer to how that would play out. Um, just the way certain cards work, I'm not entirely sure. If it has to be on the field of Resolve to allow a fact like that to Resolve, not entirely sure. But either way, he has a Widow Anchor for the uh, Trisbania, so it doesn't matter. And then, as you can see, uh, starting to pop off here. Getting low on resources. Does have that Afterburner to clear Orchestrion because it's no longer linked because it did have to come back to a main monster zone after it got Widow Anchored the term prior. Engage grabbing, I believe, a Vector Blast that was. And getting to draw. Still plenty of resources for Striker to work with right now. And he has a Shark Cannon in hand as well. And Normal Summons Array. Um, and... Uh, Really doesn't have too much to worry about here right now. Just stay uh, along Girasu and a Galatea uh, that cannot activate their effects currently because, of course, the field spell is now gone. And gonna go into Kagari. Plenty of spells in the graveyard, as you can see. I think maybe like nine or ten, somewhere around there. And adding back a Afterburner uh, via Kagari. Gari is being boosted. Doesn't matter. He's going to tag into Hayate. And that'll allow him to tutor sort of any Sky Striker card to his graveyard, which uh, to bring back uh, with the Kigari. And this is, again, where I think he said he might have made a slight mistake here. Um, he said, I don't think he said he should have gone into the Hayate. He said he kind of wasted it there. Um, these things happen, though. Mistakes happen. And uh, after Burn, it clears the long gear soon. Now going to Shizuku here. And uh, the Shizuku is dropping my Galatea by quite a bit. Now we'll take 800. Um, so do the math. It's quite a few spells engraved um, to be able to, for the, uh, the Shizuku to swing over for uh, 800. Grabbing back a drones. I activate Einsatz. Set one. Set other Einsatz that I had. Turned prior. And I go ahead and activate another copy of Goes and Match. This is sort of a, what's been allowing me to stall for as long as I've been able to. Um, and it's kind of it kind of sucks because the Einsatz and the Goes and Match. Obviously, I need him to summon something um, in order for my Einsatz to go through, which will give me a play. But I've, I I got to keep Goes on the field, or else he's going to keep. Um, I, I, I think I might have misplayed. Definitely misplayed. Um, I should have waited for him to summon something and then flip go as a match afterwards so I get a card to grade. But luckily I top deck World Wand, which allows me to add back the field spell via its own effect and uh, get that in play. And now I'm attempting to activate the World Wand to summon out one of my banished uh, Orcus cards. And I go ahead and summon out the Symbol Skeleton. Um, and I go ahead and put him in attack mode. Um... And I believe my symbol skeleton right now is at thir or is at like um, 200 or something or 300 um, because of the Shizuku and how many spells he has in grave. And I'm just trying to get the symbol skeleton in graveyard so I can use his effect. And I will crash into the Shizuku so I can get it in grave. Still in battle phase, attempting to use that symbol skeleton. Um, going to summon out the Long Gearsu. And he does chain Shark Cannon. Um, or I don't think I was still in battle phase. I think I went to main phase too. Um, but either way, Shark Cannon is uh, stopping my poor symbol skeleton from activating anyways. And it's basically Shizuku beatdown at this point. Um, I'm just struggling to draw Dumont. So like I said, I probably should have just waited to uh, at least get something off of my Einsatz. And then after that, try to lock him out with a Gozen match. Um, again, just a, a slight, slight mistake by me. Um, he's very easy. I think he's got like four or five cards left in deck as well. So I'm, we're sort of going the distance here. I top deck a Greffer, pitch a Mally. Now attempting to send uh, from deck to grave. What a draw that was. That was such a draw. And especially since we have Babel uh, in play as well. And I do ha I'd go ahead and send another copy of World Wand. 
such, such a good draw right there. Greffer, um, I think I'm playing three Greffer, two Armageddon Knight, because I, I like drawing, um, you know, Greffer way more than Armageddon Knight, because getting things out of your hand in the grave sometimes is way better. Um, so the, uh, the World Wand getting shut down, and now the Malaysia is getting shut down by Ash Blossom, and I have to pass back to him. Graffer being dropped by quite a few uh, attack points right now. He does swing over for 800. So Graffer must have been dropped down to 900. So eight spells in grave currently. I draw one, set it, attacks into it. It's a harp horror. Debating on trying to use it here at end phase. No real reason to. And again, I'm just sort of struggling. He's got me on the ropes. I draw into a jackalope, activate its effect. Of course, it will get discarded. It's the only card in my hand. Attempt to summon another Mothman, which I know I, I know for a fact I still have one in deck. That does get ashed. Harp Horror activates. Summon out Symbol Skeleton, and I pass. He's got like two cards left in deck. Impermanence gets activated, negating the Symbol Skeleton, and then since it's activated in the same cone, column that goes and matched it, he, that is currently negated as well and um, he's basically able to play Yu-Gi-Oh now uh, essentially and you see the, uh, the Hercules base gonna put back a Hayate and uh, I go ahead and activate Iron Sats and Brass Bombard um, not that it really matters because he's just gonna be able to go into Hayate and attack directly and there's nothing I can do about it and uh, a really long grindy game too if you guys are still with me after that one um, we definitely both didn't make the most optimal plays, but again, these things happen. Um, this is We recorded this actually on Thanksgiving, um, both after Thanksgiving dinner. Um, it was uh, We decided to meet up afterwards to get some, some videos recorded because it's been a while since we've done that. So, um, Adam uh, hasn't been on the channel too much lately. I was going to do this video, a guest commentary with him, but I just hadn't been able to set it up just based on like time constraints and stuff. Um, but I probably will, I'll try to get him on a future video uh, where we can uh, do sort of a guest commentary. Uh, Ash does stop the Harp Horror, but I do have the World Wand to summon out the Harp Horror to be able to still get into my Galatea. And that will set um, the Orchestrated Return, which I needed to do um, because, I, again, I, if I go and get the Field Spell here, my my field does not end on nearly as good as what it will end on um because like the field spell isn't going to help me extend it's only going to help me play during his turn so i'm not really worried about playing on his turn I'm, I'm worried about more so setting up a decent field that's going to be able to sustain a decent first turn sky striker board and um that return does allow me to get that brass bombard and grave which is actually pretty huge um because that allows me to summon the simple skeleton out of my hand which allows me to get Symbol Skeleton in Grave, ultimately, for the Summon Sorceress. And then I'm basically going for the Summon Sorceress play, targeting that Galatea, summoning out another Wonder Wand, or uh, World Wand, or whatever it's called. I keep getting it mixed up with that spell card. And um, I could go for a Bomber Dragon, right? But there's no real reason to. Uh, so I'm just sort of going on uh, idle mode, um, if you will. And uh, I am also playing a copy of Dark Arm Dragon uh, 2, which is also in my hand. I think I opened the Dark Arm. I could have summoned it turn 1, but obviously there's no real point in doing that. Uh, so I just link the Galatea and the Danger Jackalope into Longirisu. And then here I think I just link into a copy of Wee Witch. Um, just to, if it dies, I get resources back. It bumps everything up. And uh, just kind of go from there. Uh, so I got a 3k long gear suit uh, that is still able to, during my turn at least, send something in that extra monster zone that I um, sort of force him to go into. Um, and the Wii, which again, just going to add back resources if he does decide to destroy it, uh, which is something he probably doesn't really want to do. Because um, I can get back like a, a Harpoor, normal, like going to Orchestrion, use the Harpoor, sort of play from there. Normal summons the Ray. Now Ray is at... 2000 and my camera actually uh, died right there so luckily nothing happened I heard it shut off um, and I was able to put, throw a new battery in it and um, keep recording because it was such a long match um, I think this it was like 56 minutes um, unedited 
And uh, he'll normal the, the ray. Ray tags into... I don't think he uses the tag effect. I think he just tributes uh, to go right into uh, Hayate. Um, Hayate attacks directly. Foolishing the... Uh, looks like the multi-roll. And then he's going to go right into Gagari. Main phase 2. Adding back the multi-roll. Playing that promptly in the center. And... Not sure what else he's going to follow up with. Looks like he's going to go right into Shizuku, not wasting any time. Again, it looks like he does want to avoid killing the uh, Wee Witch. Because that will add me back a uh, pretty decent piece of uh, resource, if you will. Now, I do have the Dark Arm Dragon in hand, and I'm trying to set it up. I think I have like five or six darks in grave right now so i've got to do graveyard manipulation and that is one thing that orcus does really really well as you see i'm down already 15 from that hayate and uh end phase adds back that uh sky base and uh passes it back to me and i'm thinking here in end phase um because again that's why I think Dark Arm Dragon is so good in this deck because you have such easy graveyard manipulation. End phase, I use Core to get a Dark out of Grave to protect my Longyearsu from targeting for the turn. And then I draw for turn. And you can see I have one, two, three, four, five Darks in Grave. So I've got to remove two. And you see I've also got a Called By in hand. Um, very, very good card to have in this moment. See, World Wand activates. And I go ahead and summon out the Brass Bombard. And I'm going to use Harp Horror now, um, which is going to attempt to summon one from deck. And it successfully does, and it's going to be the symbol skeleton. Um, I wanted to summon the, the Brass Bombard off of the World Wand. You see the father uh, comes down absolutely incredible. Dark Arm Dragon is here. Activate effect, banish summon sorcerers, target... The orchestrated, or not the orchestrated core, but the uh, multi-roll that does get Widow Anchor. And he can't take it because he does not yet have three spells engraved upon the resolution of that Widow Anchor. And now, going into Topologic Trisbania. Uh, and I have a Brass Bombard effect that I can use. I've got another Symbol Skeleton in hand. I'm going to summon somebody to that zone that it points to. He's got Twin Twister. He doesn't want to take too much effect damage. And he'll chain a shared ride. He'll kill the orchestrated core. He'll take 500. Very, very key effect. He'll take 500. Because the one card that will get banished from Transbania's effect. And of course, my Symbol Skeleton does get banished. It's not too big of a deal. Symbol Skeleton activating, though, in Grave here. After going into Orchestrion, summoning Galatea. Galatea activating effect to return a banished Orcus or banished machine. Setting Orchestrated Babel, activating it. And I've got a Longirisu effect that I can activate here, return two. Of course, Longirisu cannot attack the turn, use that effect. It doesn't matter, though, because I can send that uh, Shizuku to the grave and swing in just enough damage that's gained by 100, attacking with the Galatea, the Dark Arm, and the Orchestron. The Called By coming in so clutch there from stopping the Ray from coming back out. And Orcus is able to take the match 2-1 in a very grindy, grindy game. Dark Arm Dragon coming in clutch. Orchestrated Core. I think there's one lesson to take away from this video is it's, uh... Orcus is a really, really good and fun deck. And it can grind very, very hard. And it's got so many different axes of play uh, as far as links go and stuff like that. Graveyard Manipulation, and I think I do want to play more Orchestrated Core because that card did save me a number of times in this matchup. I think I'll probably max out at two, maybe side the third, depending on the matchup, but if I would have been able to use that Galatea in game two to grab another Orchestrated Core, maybe grab some other card to sort of help me gain some more resources, um, maybe another Orchestrated Return or something, we would have been in a little bit of a better spot, but, you know, hindsight is 20-20. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Um... Leave a like if you did. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, it's always one to kill a center now, guys. We'll see you in the next one.